welcome tankers of Blitz Universe. We have bought the M4A2 E4 Sherman from the World of Tanks Blitz store. Um, and yeah, the basic question, is this uh, a worthy possession in the garage? Is this a premium tank that you would want to get? And well, of course you will want to get tanks because they, um, they are fun to drive or are very good or make lots of credits, etc. I wanted to get this one because it's a Sherman. It's the one Sherman I didn't have in my garage yet. I am a big fan of the M4 series of tanks. Uh, been that since I have done modeling in 1 to 35 scale uh, for a long time. And I'm a certified Shermaholic, as you could term it. So this was one that I really needed to have uh, next to my Fury and the Easy 8 itself. And also needed this one. And obviously the M4, the venerable um, tier 5 medium in the US tech tree. And that gives me a nice bridge as well to uh, what this tank is. Because we will obviously look at the armor profile and on stats and numbers as well. Uh, all the full bells and whistles review as you are used to uh, on Lord M5 channel. But this tank um, it's basically a stock Sherman 75mm gun, the same as on the T14, so you will have issues with penetration if you want to uh, bounce shots or uh, shoot them, bounce shots, shoot them um, everywhere and pen everything. And as with most of the American tanks, this is a hold down tank. We will take a look at the armor profile later. And um, as said, it is a stock Sherman, mostly. But it has a fair few good traits and things going for it. And that is a nice 160 alpha damage on the gun. Doesn't always give you 160. <laughs> Sometimes you want to get uh, higher shots in. But it's a mobile tank, not as mobile as you might uh, want to. But mobile enough uh, for my liking, and it goes around the battlefield fairly good. Um, a bit slower than some other tanks uh, on the field, a bit slower than the average Sherman. Um, and you can see if we are out of snipe mode, here we are. This suspension is, is different. Um, the Americans wanted to, wanted to try a few different sets of suspension on, uh, on tanks. Um, basically because the M4 series was really plagued with um, low ground resistance. It had very narrow tracks and those narrow tracks um, yeah, w w would plague the M4 series throughout the course of World War II. That's why they later used the Easy 8 uh, suspension, uh, wider tracks, uh, horizontal fluid spring suspension as opposed to vertical fluid spring suspension. Um, but this is a tank fitted with torsion bar, hence the similarities between the Hellcat, the Pershing, the uh, M24 Chevy. And you could, well, consider it as a tank with the suspension of a Chevy based on the trustworthy M4 Sherman chassis. Um, so yeah, that's a small history lesson aside. This was one of the first games I did, I've about, I think, 24, 25 done now. I had a lot of tier 5 games and it can perform can really perform, can do big damage, big damage numbers if you are careful with it. But let, let's take a look first at all the statistics, the numbers in tank compare again, and then we will swap to armor inspector and then two more games to come. And upon com upon comparing the uh, E4 Sherman to the M4 and again the M4, I've uh, selected both the M3 gun, so that's a bit of a more fair comparison, and the 76mm top gun on the M4 Sherman. I'm comparing it to uh, four other premium tanks, the Panzer 5 slash 4, the Matilda Black Prince, the T25 and the Matilda 4. And yeah, right off the bat, uh, on firepower, you can see the difference between the M3 gun on the Tech 3 Sherman and on the E4 Sherman. It has better DPM, not much, but just a bit better. Of course, penetration values are the same. And if you look at the Panzer 5 slash 4, the T25 and the Matilda 4, <coughs> it's yeah, in, in the middle of the pack. The Matilda Black Prince, uh, British guns usually get uh, better penetration values and that's not, no difference on this one either. And um, yeah, there's really no comparison if you look at the M4 itself with a 76 mm gun. The APCR rounds go to 127, and that's where the other tanks really get the edge, except for the Matilda 4, which is, of course, a Matilda with a big Russian gun on it. But yeah, that, that goes to uh, 127, that goes to 121. Um, you don't get much 
improvement on the penetration values if you use the M3 gun. And it has less alpha damage, so yeah, DPM goes down a bit. But then again, it's only exceeded by the Matilda Black Prince, and you are have a better DPM um, than the other tier 5 premium medium tanks. Rate of fire good, reload good, gallop at 75 millimeters, uh, muscle velocity not very good, so uh, not a snapshotting sniper tank. Um, but then again, the aim time is just a bit better than only a regular Sherman, best of the pack except for the Matilda 4. Dispersion not bad, um, either a depression 10 degrees of uh, gun depression, which is strange because the M4 Sherman itself gets 12. Um, and I really don't understand why, because it's yeah, it's the same turret and it could have to do something with the whole design, but yeah, strange to have less gun depression. Then again, 10, very good um, um, to work with, uh, but all of the tanks have practically the same gun depression. Um, but yeah, all kidding aside, if you look at the front of the tank, except for the Matilda Black Prince, you have a fairly good frontal turret armor. It has better turret armor on the front, that is, than the regular Sherman, but on the sides a bit less. So face front all the time, and you have very good hull armor, 64 mils, but it is set at a very nice angle, so it creates bounces uh, quite a bit. Of course, the credit coefficients on the M4 are uh, far lower. This one isn't brilliant, 153, uh, Matilda Black Prince having a bit better, but then again, it is better than the 564, the T25 and the Matilda 4. Um, not a lot of people have been playing this thing in the last 90 days. As you can see, uh, win rate is quite high, 60% uh, above. Um, but far more players are playing the other tanks. <laughs> the Matilda 4 is even down below in the pack. So yeah, that, that doesn't uh, really, really cut it in my opinion. Uh, view range, average 240, middle of the pack. So the best things about the tank are indeed the better frontal turret armor at 64, the frontal uh, or at 76, sorry, uh, the frontal hull at 64, and the fact that it has it at a steeper angle than the M4 Sherman, and I will show you just that in Armor Inspector now. So here we have the M4A2E4 uh, from the perspective of the British Matilda. Um, on flat ground, you can see it's it's greenish. Uh, the Matilda obviously having a 121 um, piercing power uh, um, millimeters of pen. And that will go straight through. But if you set this uh, tank at an angle, like uh, just about like this, look at what happens. It becomes, an, yeah, pretty much an auto bounce zone. There it is. Size of the turret will still go through on the gun mantle. It will go through. Um, but because it is a rounded mantlet and you wiggle a bit, you might get uh, catch the occasional shot. And, and there are, are possibilities here on the uh, vision ports, on the driver's uh, hoods. Um, those will go through as well. But those are only small targets. And yeah, get this tank hull down and you will create a lot of bounces. Um, let's take a look then at a tier 5 tank until the Black Prince, not the one I wanted. Let's get the Chino in again quite a few bounces on the left and on the right side and let's take a look at how it compares against a Sherman with the 76 millimeter gun and even that one 76 millimeter with a P will have some problems going through the front of the tank no problem go going through the side you well it's basic knowledge everybody knows the size of the tank on the weaker parts and especially the back but the front plate like I said it's it's pretty pretty good uh, against uh, tier 5 tanks. Tier 6, uh, not so much. Um, again, swapping. Here we go, tier 6, getting the Chino out again because it has the best penetration value on uh, Chito on a stock gun. And even that one, if you wiggle it around, drive it backwards across hails and try to jerk shots out of them, um, juke them, bounce them on a front plate, that will. Um, yeah, that will be the name of the game. Hold down, angle it just about. And um, don't over angle or your sights will become open again like with the T14. But this is the shot you will want to be using. Turn the turret just about on the drive wheel like this. And that's the angle you want. Nothing more, nothing less. Don't do anything more. Because you will over angle. If you do it like this, a little bit of side flipping. Um, will help and you will be able to 
create bounces and uh, how will that look in game yeah just about that enough for arm inspector almost and upwards two more games to come and the first one is a tier 5 top tier game on Mayan Ruins, Mayan Ruins, I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, on Ruins. <laughs> and uh, you can see from, from uh, the timestamp on top, I've cut out the first minute of the game. It was basically us driving from spawn to their spawn. And there's another M4, A2, E4 over there. He has loaded adrenaline already. We've shot him once and you can see side of the tank will go through no problem whatsoever. We can shoot this took over there track him in place thank you very much we've loaded adrenaline already we can shoot him one more time thank you very much and he was just being too aggressive going down uh, due to our crusader and uh, so far so good things are looking pretty uh, pretty good over here the e4 goes uh, down oh, there we go even through the side of him he flattened out his front plate and through the side i am um, i can easily shoot him and this uh, chaffy over here no idea that makes for a killer uh, killer rhyme really and uh, a nice slogan i think but what he was doing i haven't got a clue whatsoever he was just sitting there new player maybe but uh yeah didn't really uh, help his team that said uh it's three to one at the moment um that means we could uh, really push but you can see we are also losing tanks and there is a lux on the red team the dwt2 takes out our dw2 uh, i get one uh, bounce over there but i got shot from this little tank over he's doing the right thing he's he's hiding and then he shoots me kaboom into my left side there we go <laughs> And we lose our T28 to the Lux, and Lux is doing the right thing as well, going into cover while reloading, which means I have to shoot this B1, and he unloads his clip into my side. Um, nothing I can really do here, um, except for trying to go hold down, bouncing a shot left, bouncing another shot, um, trying to go away and reload. I wanted to shoot Lux here on the right side, but I tried to move in. And he has a bit of a problem with the tank. The traverse numbers aren't spectacular, aren't great. Luckily, the Lux is now uh, down to uh, three shots for me. Hopefully, he uh, puts a few rounds into me as well. I'm <laughs> down to 41 hit points. Um, I have adrenaline going, but I know he will be able to reload and maybe finish me off. I get a few bounces there. Just drop off. Oh, thank you, thank you. Reload, reload. There we go. We can shoot him. And one. Two, three, hello Crusader. <laughs> oh yeah. Lost 74 hit points and didn't even uh, ram kill him. Um, but then again, makes for some good footage as well because he comes flying in over there. We got a first class again, a Top Gun high caliber and a Spartan medal. There are no masteries in this review. I could see the bar going up and up and up and up because I have a uh, first class when I was first driving it at around 800. Uh, XP and uh, this one is a bit high at 906 and it was still a first class and I have even one I think at 9, 940 or so and even that one didn't give me a mastery but then again I'm not complaining first class material uh, is also good um, Black Goldfield tier 6 game I wanted to go up for obvious reasons it's always for, for reasons that you go up, but for obvious reasons, I want to go up. Um, but for obvious reasons, I'm also um, changing my mind. Because I am a low tier tank, and there are a fair few big guns on the red team. And there uh, is a guy from Kraken who said, hello Martin, so that knows, that means he knows I'm here. He greeted me, thank you very much, nice meeting you, Fly Talks. Uh, but it also means that um, yeah, people will maybe want to take me out uh, some people tend to focus on me if they see me on the team i'm not complaining it just happens and um, but you can see what my team is doing as well they are flanking wide they are flanking hard uh, one of them is camping at the back so i want to get some spots in first can we do that that's what you can do in this tank you have to be careful you can flank you have mobility it's an american tank you have a good um, good gun um, and we managed to shoot uh, this tank over here, the Ram, uh, another tier 5 premium. I haven't included that one in the um, comparison really. Uh, why did I include that one in the comparison? Because I uh, know that one is no longer available at the moment, so that's why I didn't include it. Um, 
And as T1 he's being a bit aggressive, I wanted to track him into place. That didn't materialize, he knows he is a one shot now, so I load APCR just to be sure to pen him, and even with that APCR, the side of the turret is pinkish, it's not a guaranteed pen. I can shoot the ram again, here we go, thank you very much. Um, but we just stained him, like I said, it isn't brilliant pen numbers. Um, nevertheless, he gets killed, but all of the red team is gone now. Um, I have no idea where they are, so I want to go spotting again. Carefully going all down, keeping that front plate at an angle. There is a tank, hello, can we shoot you? Yes, we can shoot you, Cromwell. Uh, front of the Cromwell, no problem, you can go through that one as well. Um, but you have to be a bit yeah, careful in the tank. I'm uh, down to a uh, one-shot for a few of the tanks on the team. Or at least, uh, I don't have a lot of hit points left uh, anymore, 300. Um, there is a KV-2 somewhere, and front... <laughs> Front of the Yak Panzer IV doesn't go through. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Um, and it also means we are going to flank. Sorry, Flytox, I am really prioritizing you now as a target. And um, that's also because you are the isolated tank. There is a VK rolling in, and I want to get you out because I know you can play the game pretty well. Um, and if we don't uh, take you out, then we will. Well, uh, we, we will get killed probably and we might as well lose so that is also a matter of prioritizing targets you have to kill tanks that are uh, alone don't know where this shot went uh, we got shot in the back down to 96 now we are definite one shot so rolling down again i have no idea what shot me thank you for gg same to you i don't know what shot me but you can see we also have the reds isolated now we have them in a pocket um, don't know where that shot went, a bit of lag, um, blah blah blah, really annoying. Um, but it's uh, 5, uh, yes, 5 on 3 now, and they have 3 tanks left, but my team isn't really doing anything, so I'm being very careful now. What can I shoot? I don't want to shoot anybody, really. Um, I want to shoot this uh, yeah, Panzer IV, he is facing forward, because I can see the gun barrel, I can see him shooting, he becomes a one shot, thank you, I can shoot you in the side and back into cover. Um, not really risking anything here um, because that sentinel is moving up and I was already guessing that he wanted to get the VK out and he does so I can shoot him now there we go and he's on 83 and he's a one shot for me and I'm a one shot for him so I'm just going to sit here and while I sit here um, the team are capping why why would you cap three heavies versus a sentinel a T6 medium tank on 83 hit points and they are capping and they are expecting me to spot but I don't really want to spot so that's why I'm just sitting here and maybe he will come from the right side no he won't all right I'll sit over here then watch this side because I will be able to proxy spot him probably um, still no tanks available no shots guys where is he he's on top we're gonna win this game anyway but <laughs> this was a bit of uh, the, the patience game this is experience kicking in. I'm not going to rush. I'm not going to rush in. I'm going to move in just as he becomes spotted. I'm unspotted so I can put a sneaky APCR shot in. Wasn't really needed. AP would have uh, gone through but I forgot to switch back. So we get a Top Gun medal again. Uh, first class like said only first class material in this review but uh, as you can see if you are not careful with the tank like I've shown you on uh, Mayan, Mayan ruins and on Black gold for here. If you're not careful with the tank, you will suffer. Your hit points will disappear at an alarming rate. And if you're not careful with the premium ammo, so will your credits. It's a decent credit, and not, not spectacular, but hey, it's a tier 5 premium. But that said, I think this is a uh, better premium than the T14 because of basically the same armor profile. A bit better in terms of mobility, and a hey, it's a Sherman. And I'm a certified Shermanholic, so. I wanted to get this one into my garage. Uh, thanks again all for watching, for supporting the channel. I catch you all on the next one. Cheers and happy tanking.